to address the frequently asked questions related to California bills in the legislature. The first uh, common question, do only urgency clause bills take effect immediately? Under Article 4, Section 8C3 of the state constitution, there are actually four, of, four types, statutes calling elections, statutes providing for tax levies, statutes providing for appropriations for the usual current expenses of the state, i.e. the budget, and urgency statutes all go into effect immediately upon their enactment. What are urgency measures? Urgency statutes are generally those considered necessary for immediate preservation of the public peace, health, or safety. And these measures require approval by two thirds vote of both houses of the legislature rather than a simple majority. And this is pursuant to Article 4, Section 8D of the state constitution. Do both the Assembly and Senate permit their members to introduce a maximum of 40 bills per session? This was true until the 2017-18 session when the Assembly changed its rule to allow the introduction of a maximum of 50 bills per session. That is in Assembly Rule 49A. The Senate retains a cap of 40 bills per session. Members uh, in either house can request a waiver from their respective rules committee to introduce more than the maximum number of bills. Is a bill keyed as a tax levy a tax increase bill? For California bills, a tax levy is any bill that imposes, repeals, or materially alters a state tax. The Legislative Council indicates in the title and digest of the bill whether the bill is a tax levy. Generally, it changes the base rate or burden of a tax. Do all bills that contain an appropriation require a supermajority vote, two-thirds for passage? This is the general rule, except for education finance bills, budget-related bills, and any special fund appropriations bills. Those only require a majority vote for passage. Can all two-year bills be considered at any time in the second year of the session? Under the California Constitution, any two-year bill, called a carryover bill, uh, even those that contain an urgency clause are deemed to be a tax levy, must pass their house of origin by January 31st of the second year. Note that this rule does not apply to constitutional amendments. Like in Congress, is the sponsor of the bill the legislator who introduces the measure? In Congress and a vast majority of states, the bill author is called the sponsor of the bill. However, in California's legislature, the sponsor is the member of the legislature, a private individual, or an interest group that develops a measure and advocates its passage and usually requests the author of the bill to carry the measure on behalf of that sponsor. The author of the bill is the member of the legislature who actually introduces the measure. Are bond measures approved only by the legislature? A bill authorizing the sale of state GEO or general obligation bonds to finance specified projects or activities is a bond measure. Subsequent to its enactment, a general obligation bond bill must be approved by the voters of California. Are double jointing and contingent enactment the same thing? No. Contingent enactment means that there's a section in a bill indicating that it is to become operative only upon the enactment of another measure or some other contingency being met. On the other hand, double jointing amendments are amends to a bill providing that the amended bill does not override the provisions of another bill when both bills propose to amend the same section of law and both measures are enacted into law. Does a bill's legislative council's digest analyze a bill's provisions? Nope, the digest is prepared by the Office of Legislative Council and the digest summarizes the effect of a proposed bill on current law. It always appears on the first page of the printed bill and it does not provide an analysis of the proposed law. That is done by policy committee staff in their bill analyses. Are engrossing and enrolling of bills the same thing? No. When a bill is amended, the printed form of the bill is proofread by staff to assure that the amendments are inserted properly. After being proofread, the bill is correctly engrossed and is deemed to be in its proper form. Whenever a bill passes both houses of the California legislature, it's ordered enrolled. In enrollment, the bill is again proofread for accuracy and then is delivered to the governor. Do only bills impose state mandates? State legislative enactments or administrative regulations can actually mandate a new 
program or higher level of service on the part of a local government, a local agency, or a school district, the cost of which are required by the state constitution to be reimbursed to those local governments. Do local governments determine whether a bill creates a state mandate? A bill is designated by the Office of Legislative Council to be a state mandated local program which requires the state to reimburse the local government or local agency the cost of their activities required by legislative and executive acts. Does a bill containing an urgency clause require only one vote for passage? No, a vote on the urgency clause requiring a two thirds vote in each house must precede a vote on the bill pursuant to joint rule 27. As a result, there are actually two votes taken on the floor for a bill that contains an urgency clause. The first is on the urgency clause and the second is on the bill itself. Do all measures reported out of committee get placed on the second reading file? In the assembly, pursuant to assembly rule 66, all bills reported out of committee must be placed on the second reading file for the next legislative day, but this rule does not apply to joint or concurrent resolutions. It does apply to both bills and constitutional amendments. Can budget appropriation bills be authored by any member? Bills providing for appropriations related to the budget bill can only be authored by the Senate Budget and Fiscal Review Committee or the Assembly Budget Committee pursuant to Joint Rule 54. However, this provision may be suspended by approval of the Rules Committee. Do senators need a second to move a bill just like in the Assembly? No, in the Senate to vote on a bill, it only requires the initial motion. However, in the California State Assembly, a motion and a second are required before a measure can be voted on by the committee members. Can a member author a bill during a session that would have substantially the same effect as a bill that he or she introduced during that session? No is the general rule, unless the member receives approval by the rules committee of their respective house. Nonetheless, pursuant to Joint Rule 54, this restriction does not apply in cases where the previously introduced bill was vetoed by the governor or the provisions of that prior bill were chaptered out by a later chaptered bill. Why does an urgency bill include a brief statement following the urgency clause? Because California's constitution in Article 4, Section 8D provides in part that urgency statutes are those necessary for immediate preservation of the public peace, health, or safety, and a statement of facts constituting the necessity shall be set forth in one section of the bill. Why does a bill include only related provisions rather than, if you will, a hodgepodge of unrelated provisions like a bill in Congress? Well, under Article 4, Section 9 of the state constitution, it provides in part that a statute shall embrace but one subject, which shall be expressed in its title. If a statute embraces a subject not expressed in its title, only the part not expressed is void. Why does a bill include the entire code section being amended even if just a single word is being changed? Because Article 4, Section 9 of the state constitution provides in part that a section of a statute may not be amended unless the section is reenacted as amended. This is the state's reenactment rule. And finally, why does a bill include a section that explains it is a general statute, uh, that it's a special statute rather than a general statute? That's because Article 4, Section 16 of the state constitution provides that all laws are of a general nature and they have uniform operation, but a local or special statute is invalid in any case if a general statute can be made applicable. And as a result, if a special statute is required for a unique set of reasons, then the bill states that it is a so-called special statute.